Don't fret, children. You're not late for dinner. Let's follow. What is all this? It looks wrong. You've done well to come so far. Oh, look at you all, your skin and bones. Please, sit. Let us eat. Rachel, what the hell is this all about? Today is a very special ceremony. It's important to make sure you begin it with a full stomach. Please, eat, or it'll get cold. Stop these games! All of this is nothing more than holograms. Where are you keeping Julius? Bring him out here right now, damn you! Sweet Julius is fast asleep. He's been working so hard for your arrival. We mustn't wake him before it's time. I'm actually glad we have a moment. It seems like ages since we've had a proper talk. I want to hear everything. Let us talk until he awakens. Oh, first, I'd love to hear about your time in the Far East. Have you gone on many missions? All right, Rachel, just tell us what the hell you want. What kind of sick game are you playing? <laughs> oh, Gilbert, that's such a silly question. There's no game. You know all people are driven by their will. I taught you that. All I've done until this moment has been for the sake of mankind. To help the weak, ignorant, foolish mortals to survive the coming trial. Dr. Rachel, if I may ask a question of you. There's the shield I know and love. So clever. I've such fond memories of your childhood. Go ahead, my dear. Dr. Leia told us everything. About your father, the children at Magnolia Compass, the plague patients, the fall. She blames herself. But none of that explains why. Is all of this just for Julius? What are you even trying to achieve? Even before you began, you knew you'd hurt innocent people. How could you do something so wicked? as brilliant and insightful as always, Sheila. I have a story that I wish to tell you all. Perhaps that will answer your questions. The story of a girl who became an Aragami. Rachel and I are getting along so much better now. She and I stay up and talk all the time. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Leah. Your mother is certainly looking down and smiling upon us from heaven. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. And Rachel's really, really nice now. We never fight at all anymore. But sometimes when we talk, she'll just stare off into nothing, Papa. She'll mumble something really quiet to herself and smile. <laughs> Don't worry, little Leah. When I was her age, I was always debating physics with the trees and laughing with the wind. Rachel has the spark. She may become a visionary scientist one day. It's crucial to learn how to converse with nature. Really? One, right? Of course, my darling. You two will be amazing. 
my little girls working as one to make the world a better place. All of us, my sister, my father, even me, all born of human blood. We're all wicked. The best way is to swallow it all. Swallow until nothing will remain. But everything has to be eaten. Everything. Yes. Okay. I'll find someone. Someone who can devour all of this wicked world. This God was within me, always whispering in the dark, telling me how it could be done. I could end the chaos, it told me. I alone could bring unto the world a devouring apocalypse. Then I found my sweet Julius. He was extraordinary. His body could take any bias factor. He was chosen. Perfect. My hero will awaken soon as something far more than himself. All that's left are the final preparations for his great feast. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Please, follow me down. Unceasing truth in this world. Survival of the fittest. The weak must perish, and the strong survive. Nature has decreed it so. There are no exceptions, no denials to the supreme law. The devouring apocalypse swallows the great beast whole, ushers in the singularity's new order. An apocalypse has brought forth every major change since the birth of time. It is the resounding trumpet, the herald of the future. It is a divine apoptosis. By its sheer will, excising wasted life, curbing a world that has evolved far beyond its granted limits. It has happened time and again, yet still impudent humans defy the mandate of my restless god. They protect the old chaos! They tainted its last attempt at singularity. They thought themselves immortal, banishing that infinite power to the darkness alone. But they could never hold back my sweet Julius. another hologram? Not this one. I don't need that doll anymore. There, see? children, my blood's special forces will endure one final mission side by side. We are the final sacrifice to awaken Julius.
Is it done? Dr. Rachel. What's happening? feast is laid. The devouring apocalypse has at last begun. Shatter and burn thy decrepit world. It is a power beyond human ken. Despair at its rise. I had hoped that you, my beautiful children, would stand with me, would face the end of all time beside me. Alas, you have already chosen your path. You chose to wander in shadowed and dangerous woods. Now you shall sleep eternally. Farewell, flesh of my flesh. Farewell, blood. Let us meet again in the new world. A world uncorrupted. Julius, you must now awaken. <laughs> Look, Julius, it's morning. The sun is shining. All your new friends are waiting for you. Good morning to you, my dear Julius. It is a brand new day for all of us. I'm afraid I have ill news. We considered your report and the results of bias field monitoring. At this point, we must assume that the transformation is complete. Julius has become a singularity. If that is so, I am afraid there is almost no hope of saving him. And if we allow the devouring apocalypse to begin, that is the end for all of humanity. All life will be purged, reset, and redistributed. The world will cease to exist in its current form. Director Sakaki, is there anything we can do? There must be some way to stop it. Hmm. 
Let me begin by saying one thing. I have never agreed with sacrificing the few for the many. No matter how desperate, there is always a path to victory that doesn't require sacrifice. Miracles happen when hope rises. My friends have proven that truth to me. It is undeniable. Listen well. There may be a path to such a miracle here. Still, it will be a narrow one and treacherous. One misstep. Well, you may still manage to stop the devouring apocalypse, but the cost will be unbearably high. All of blood, Miss Yuno, and others may lose their lives. Discuss it first among yourselves and with Miss Yuno. When you're ready, I'll tell you my plan. What do you mean, ready? We're ready now! It's reckless, dangerous, mad even. Yet I know that if I tell you, you'll begin without a second thought. I want to be completely honest with you first. Please, discuss it together. Think it over. You must come to a decision you won't regret. Think hard about who and what you fight for. 